Fiora. Let's go get you some water. Hopefully it's nearby and you'll be okay. It looks like there is some kind of fountain here. All right, let's see. Shulk finds Fiora inside the silver face, unconscious but still alive. You've collected some clean water. Fiora, you're awake. Um, do you remember? My name is Sh I can't believe it. My first kiss. You do remember me, Fiora. Of course I do, Shulk. Biggest smile went across my face when she talked. I never forgot you or the others. Oh, she's back. Then why? Because I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? When it happened. When Colony 9 was attacked by the Mechon. I thought I had died. I felt the Mechon's claw rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound, no light, no pain. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. And it felt like there was someone inside me. Someone else? The one who was controlling the Mechon you were in? Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Except uh, I had no control over my body and I couldn't talk. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. But... the person inside you... No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. There was something she urgently needed to do. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping. Or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped. Hijacking your body. Treating it like it's her own. Oh, shock. I mean, she didn't seem like a bad person. Yes. I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk. I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. 
I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. To be honest, without her, I don't think Fiora would be with us, either. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egil, she knew what I wanted to do, and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Mm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. I'm glad to be here. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's going to be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Mm-hmm. Sharla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're going to like them. Uh, I hope so. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. But nothing's going to separate us now. Come on. Let's start searching. She's got cool little mech on wings now. Okay. Can I control her? You gonna let- Yes! There we go. Ooh, she has a- she has a lot of HP. Okay, let's take a look at her skill links and skill tree. Um, I guess it's the same as before. Increases the damage of the first strike. Special armor from Mechanis to be equipped. Okay. Increases counterattack rate when HP is at half. Prioritizing this trait will improve maximum HP. Okay, okay. Haste buff to the party after burst affinity. That sounds pretty... Ooh. Increases damage of critical hits. Fills party gauge if two allies are incapacitated. That's actually pretty cool too. Movement speed. Okay, we're going to keep going with daring for now. Get that. Movement speed, physical damage down, and all stats up. We can equip a few things too. Uh, definitely agility up. She is most definitely an agility character, I'm pretty sure. Tension is good. More HP, heals the party. Okay, probably get that resilient warrior. And healing arts. Burst affinity. Okay, let's save our coins for some other ones. Physical defense, definitely agility up again. I wonder if these stack. Agility up buff. This one is 15%, this one's 5%. So, I assume they will stack because they have different names. I don't need aggro. Okay. Cooldown, movement speed. I'm gonna assume that she wants movement speed. She probably has a bunch of positionals. Okay, increase agility. And I guess increase agility again. And there's our last link. Cool. So grant strength up. Okay, we'll give him that. And her arts. Let's take a look. Cannon drones. Drones form a cannon, unleashing a large beam in a straight line. That's a lot of damage, though. Okay. And it looks like she has completely new abilities. Okay, let's see. Double blade attacking from behind will inflict a large amount of damage. So that's here. Heavy damage on enemies suffering topple. Cool. A dual bladed outward slash striking enemies in front. 
So she could go physical or she has some ether stuff as well. Looks like. Air Fang, so this is to break. I'm gonna put this here. Regenerate aura, okay. Cross impact, a kick attack in a cross formation inflicting days. Release an ether wave, striking all in range inflicts days on Mechon. Okay, so yeah, definitely want the cross impact for this. Second gear. Tense all the muscles in the body, increasing physical arts damage. That sounds pretty good. Absorbs ether. That would actually be really good for uh, anytime they use an ether vision tag. Lock Fiora's sight onto a single enemy, creating an aura of focus. Crit rate up. I can only attack that one. Damage fills talent gauge for 10 seconds. Versus this one, removes debuffs and creates a regenerate aura. So you can heal. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Provides, produces a special field that inflicts paralysis. Topple hit fills talent gauge. Huh. I kind of want to try this second gear thing. Ether drain. Reduces the target's ether. Effect ether up. Oh, so maybe it's not... Okay, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was like a, a shield sort of thing. So I'll keep the zero gravity. I'll put second gear uh, here. Actually, we should probably put the auras together. So we'll do this. And try this for now. Okay, let's level up our... Oh, what about this double wind, though? AoE attack in front raises tension. Uh, definitely want this, because this is a chance art. This is also a chance art. This is not a chance art. Okay, we're going to try zero gravity. If I don't like it, then I will replace it with double wind because we are mostly going for physical with her. And then Riki will be the ether DPS. But these ones we're definitely using. Um, pretty sure I'm going to be using lock-on. And then healing energy is something I will probably also use. Honestly, I'll probably use this too. Okay. And then I'll save the rest for how I feel. Later. Okay, and we have equipment. Uh, one thing that you told me in the comments, if I look at the right side here, uh, they have stats. Apparently, if any of those stats turn green, that means that I can't raise that stat for the character anymore. So I should use different gems. I didn't know that, so I'm going to pay attention to that from now on. But it looks like she has a lot of ether stuff, actually. Like ether arms and everything. Okay, well. Let's start by giving her double attack. And... Agility up. Yeah, she can't equip anything else, it looks like. Oh, she has glasses. Okay. And we will have to unlock more fashion for her as well. Okay, for now, we're gonna go with this. 
Find your friends. Tutorial added. Cannon drones. My talent... My talent art changes depending on what equipment I have on my feet. Take cannon drones. It does a lot of damage to enemies directly in my line of sight. My talent gauge fills up when I auto attack. Oh. So the talent gauge actually changes depending on what I equip as her shoes. My combat style changes when I attach different equipment. Ether equipment improves my ether attack and ether defense. Attack equipment improves my physical attack. Speed equipment improves my agility. And power equipment puts my physical defense in top form. Why not try out different combinations and see what I can do? I've always been proud of my attack power. You could say it runs in the family. You said it. If anyone can damage Mechon without needing to use enchant, it's you. I couldn't ask for a better sister. I daze opponents with cross impact and then hit them with spear blade for massive damage. This body's not bad. Ryan and I will topple the enemy. Then you can strike with your combo. It's great to have you back, Fiora. Cannon Drones has ether attributes, so it's handy when physical attacks don't work. Healing energy cures debuffs and can also restore HP. Wow, Fiora, I'm rather envious. Me too. Cool. So she's actually equipped for ether stuff right now. So maybe instead of doing the physical stuff, I should be using the ether stuff. But right now, it looks like the only ether stuff is the magstorm. And we don't really need this because we don't have mechons here. And then ether drain and zero gravity. Okay. Oh, I'm probably going to take my time walking around as Fiora. So it seems like we could turn her into a tank or a DPS if we wanted to. Oh, we can't view this yet. Alright, I'm gonna slowly make my way over to this mining area here. And just savor this moment. Ooh. Let's beat this guy up. Is everybody ready? Everyone! Do your best! Okay, double blade. So, go ahead and inflict break. You're gonna topple him. Oh wait, Shulk can't topple. And we're okay. Let's stay focused. Okay, not bad. Let me grab this blue item up top. Oh, I think we might actually still be on the Mechonis side. Because that was a Mechonis gear thing. Okay, let's try fighting this one. Okay, let's use lock on. Okay, we just attack like everything. Okay, break him. Let's try the second gear here. Oh yeah, and she moves real quick. Well, let's try the cannon drones. What does this do? Oh! It's just a giant laser. Wolf Garter, okay, that's for Ryan. Yeah, I would like to try to get physical equipment for her so I can build her to be a physical DPS. Though I guess probably the best thing to do is to have both physical and ether gear. 
So I could change her depending on what I need. But yeah, let's go grab all of these before I head off. I do see another blue one there. I'm going to grab it too. Also, this music is lovely. Warning lamp. I'm pretty excited to see what kind of customizations I can give to Fiora. In terms of like, you know, her armor and stuff. They said there was ether, there was a tanking one, or a physical defense. There was the attacking one, so physical arts. And then I guess the last one is probably like more of a support role. I'll be honest, I don't quite remember what I read. Just five minutes ago. Yeah, I think this is the Mechonis. Gotta be. Like the feet. Transformer area. Okay, let me grab these. Digital Rizaka. Who the heck is Rizaka? I'm gonna have to change her skills, like the order of her skills, a little bit. Because the second gear is too far. I feel like I should go into second gear, like, almost all the time. Okay, lock on. I know this thing just leveled up to 57, so that's a little annoying. Okay, we got him. Paralyze. Nope. Okay, we'll use the regen and see how this works. Uh, Shulk. Thanks for not having Monado. Okay, I'm gonna let him hit Shulk before I... There we go. Okay, second gear. Okay, he'll actually die this time. Oh, he's gonna miss me anyway. My agility is just high enough. Oh, I can't wait to use her with Ryan. Nice job. Someone that can actually tank. And it looks like we are finally getting the rest of the stuff we need for Colony 6. That's great. If we get the chance by the end of this episode, I might do some side quests in between uh, this one and the next episode. If we get to the point, like if we can find our party here. Okay. There's a lot of birds around here. Ulna Passage. Shulk! Fiora! 
What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit... strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. I wonder what happened... after the fortress. Where did the others all end up? The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mekon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk, can't you sleep? Sorry, did I wake you? No, it's okay. I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks, but I'd like some water. Okay. You should eat, even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. I just run on water. Don't worry. <sighs> I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body, so I should live here on Mekonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought, if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Mekon! No! Not now! Shulk! Let me... Fiora! Right. Come on, Manada. Don't let me down. The Manado bends to your will. No! I won't let you take her from me! This time, I will protect Fiora! Yes! The Monado's light! I can do this! Okay. Let's uh let's do this. But first I'm gonna I'm gonna charge my controller. All right, we're plugged in, we're ready. We're gonna kick some ass, solo. I don't know why I just enchanted there. So we are off to a bad start. You can do it, Shulk. You know what, let's just bust her. It doesn't matter, I have aggro anyway. Oh yeah, and I, I upgraded some of his Monado skills just now. So he has maxed out his shield, at least the, in the level 2 categories. Go to hell. <sighs> the Monado. 
It worked, but... I feel... worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... Oh yeah, and I guess the reason why I couldn't use speed before was because the Monado was still disabled. I didn't realize that it he like disabled it for good. I thought it was just for that battle. What's that sound? Oh jeez. No. We're surrounded. What are these? You're up then. Sharla. What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan. Um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was... kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there, to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But... now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Ryan I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Mm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong. We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Oh man, you're not a third wheel, dude. Finally, that's the Rhine I know. Um, back there? Were you talking about that guy Gado? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Rhine. Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. Yeah. Am I going to control them? Nice, okay. So I guess we're going to go through, like, a little bit of everyone. And, uh, just see what they're up to. Hold on, before I go, there is obviously something to mine here. And after that cutscene, I'm pretty sure what I'll do once we all get back together is I'm just going to use 
the original trio for a bit. Just, just to get them all back together. Ryan, Shulk, and Fiora. Oh, it's so nice seeing them all. Oh, you okay? Oh my god, you okay, Sharla? Yeah, I hope they all get back together soon. Oh, there's a lot of plant life here. What's that sound? Someone's in a fight. Up ahead. Shulk! Ryan! I got your back! We'll turn them into scrap! Right! Nice. Okay, let's do this. Alright, well, I can't control you, Ryan, so we'll do this. Offensive Seeker Unit. Let me build up my talent gauge. There we go. Let's just chain attack and finish this guy off. And a daze. Good to see you. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan! Ryan, it's you! Fiora! She remembers us! Yeah. She's been through a lot. I can see. Wow. <laughs> that was kind of a creepy smile there, Ryan. I feel the same way, though. I feel the same way. Holy cow. Yeah. He'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry? When no one's watching? Yep. He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. Nope. I don't believe it. Take it easy. Oh, I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. I can see. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get. You ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? Take it as a compliment. Ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> Right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Yeah, wouldn't miss it. Oh my god, I'm just gushing over these three. I'm sure Charlotte's here. I mean, yeah, whatever. But, uh, oh my god. Here we go, here we go. So break, actually, let's have Ryan in the middle. So break, topple, days. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And we have opening blow. Oh, this is going to be great. All 
Alright, let's head inside. Let's see if we can find Dunban. I'm also interested to see what it's like when he cries. Let's do this. All oh, right, let me see you tank. All right, here's the break. Got topple. There's the daze. Perfect. I do like how that ether paralysis is a chance art on topples. That's gonna make it even easier to raise our to raise our party gauge. Oh yeah, Ryan, I got a new garter for you. I think. Wolf garter. Holy. Wait, I got a lot of really good stuff. The knuckle garter is not as good because it's only one slot, but the wolf garter. Yeah. We'll give you the aggro up here, 12%. And... Let's see, instead of days up, we'll give him... Physical defense down. Yeah, why not? Okay, he doesn't have any greens. Okay. I think the only ones that would have greens currently would probably be uh, either Dunban or Melia. Because Melia, I stacked the ether like crazy. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm probably just going to be using Fiora for most of the game. But, you know, I'll switch it up with Riki and Shulk. But now that she's back... Oh. Oh, Radio Carpia. What is this? This is not what I imagined Makanis to look like. All green and overgrown. And there's like a bird over there. I know you're still getting used to that body and everything, Fiora. So I'm sorry that I'm making you jump off high... High heights, but... Get used to it. What is it? I can... Hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sound. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! <sighs> ah, I see. Riki leading the pack. Friends stop for Ricky. Oh, Ricky very hungry and Ricky sleepy. If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Okay. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. this here upon ricky have big fight with fish ricky win grilled fish taste yum yum ah dum dum eat too i thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest i'm pretty sure ricky knew that melia needed to rest and he he said that so that she could rest without you know admitting that she needed to break oh ricky very tired but Ricky very hungry too. Huh. 
How considerate of you. Oh, Ricky not understand, Dundun. Don't try to hide it. You realize Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason, you ask. Yeah. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky glad dundan like yum yum fish. Yeah, thank you. Millie is tired, but Ricky tired too. And Dundun not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear Dundun's story. Ricky listen carefully. For Ricky is the hero bond. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yeah! Ricky, listen! I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dundun take care of them. Hmm? Dundun watch over Shulk. Dundun watch over Fiora. That is all a daddy pawn can do. Huh. Ricky, make mistake. Dundun not daddy pawn. <laughs> well, I am her older brother. But just like daddy pawn, watching over family. Same watch over. Dundun do what he must. Huh. Who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little pawn. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little pawn. Ricky know some things. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I just... I'm not going to interrupt him yet. Let me finish this. Let them finish first. It doesn't look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe? Everyone strong! Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Yeah, let's go find them. In the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Are they just around the corner? <laughs> Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. Oh, it's like a little pipe. Uh, I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knob on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. All right. I, I just have to say that this entire sequence, like since uh, we started with Fiora and Shulk, this entire sequence is probably my favorite in the entire game so far. Like, we are getting character development. We're getting the chance to see these characters actually interact with each other. Oh, we actually don't have any greens. Okay. We're good then. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. So as long as we're not maxed out on the stats, we are good. But yeah, this... Oh. Oh, what's this? Not met. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here. I do have a lot of heart-to-hearts that I could do. I'm gonna unlock a few more. Why are there still question marks? What? Is there, like, another character? Okay, well, 
I have a lot of heart to hearts that I will probably just do like an entire episode for. Like we'll just go around doing every heart to heart that I've unlocked and watch all of them at once. That's probably the best way to do that. Also, uh, Riki is an awesome character. I'm sorry that I was so harsh on you before when you first arrived, Riki. But I feel like everyone kind of realized that when I started using him more anyway. A village in a place like this. Malia! Shulk! Guys! <laughs> You're all right! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> and... <laughs> we found Fiora. Dunban. Fiora? Do you... remember me? Mm -hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, dear brother. Shulk, is that your childhood friend? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And... What is this place, anyway? <gasps> These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. The people of Mekonis. Well, holy shit. Machina? You mean... machine people? You look as if you have many questions. But please, take a look around our village first. The Nada. We will talk after that. Sure. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. I mean... Uh, the designs of these Machina people, I'm not... Oh, it's right on the, the thing's toe. I think they're pretty cool. Okay. Alright, let me see if I can... go everywhere. It's possible that they are not going to let me... I go everywhere. Oh wait, I, I said I was going to use Ryan. Yeah, so let's use Ryan for a bit. Uh, if I can go everywhere, then I will probably do some side quests in between this episode and the next. And we finished Reticence. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're finishing everything. And uh, Don Ban has his armor thing, so I might do that. Found everyone, and they are safe. Okay, let me see. I'm pretty sure we cannot. But if I can go over to Colony 9, and I can. Okay. I guess what's going to happen is I'm going to do some side quests tomorrow um if there's anything interesting i will show you guys otherwise well here's a machina village right right here yeah otherwise i will just meet you guys back inside the machina village and we will continue on with the story but i mean either way the main story quest will still be here but yeah, I'll be doing some side quests and you might see that uploaded the next day. But until then, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.